live from my home in London, Ontario, Canada. This is the Furnet TV Web Show, episode 5. Let's take it away right now. Starts a hard romance at one o'clock. That truck is rocking, two is coming, still no stopping. Break and check the clock at three. They're right on where they wanna be. And four o'clock, get up, get going. Five o'clock, every just grow. Hello, guys, and welcome to the Furness TV Web Show. I am Robert Furness. For the next little bit, we will talk about stuff that I feel is very important to me, like the WWE. Disney Zone, Magic the Gathering, and much more. So let's get started right now. Our first topic is about the WWE, and oh what a week it was. Raw was celebrating its 20th anniversary, while SmackDown was celebrating its 700th episode. On Raw, there was a steel cage match between John Cena and Dolph Ziggler, and The Rock came back to do a rock concert. John Cena won his match, thanks even with the help of Big E Lance, even with the he, Big Lance trying to involve John Cena in the winning. Um, the Rock, well, he was very entertaining, unbelievably funny. The last moment of, of the night was when The Rock. And CM Punk got into a huge fight because due to the fact that CM Punk couldn't handle The Rock with the talking with, with me. I mean, I mean, honestly, The Rock, what I said, was, was entertaining, was true about CM Punk. And I hope that The Rock beats CM Punk next Sunday at TLC. I mean, at Royal Rumble. I gotta say. On SmackDown, the new World Heavyweight Champion, how about the Joe Grillo had a huge celebration, like a fiesta, you know, fiesta del Rio, what they call it. We went, but it was unfortunately interrupted by um, Dolph Ziggler and Big Show. Sheamus, however, got involved and helped Alberto Rio defend all the goat in the shoe. Before they started fighting, the match was made between Sheamus, I mean, we the Big Show and uh and Dolph Ziggler and they told you to face the team of Sheamus and the World Heavyweight Champion Alberto Del Rio. Really good match, and of course the match ended with Big Show just couldn't handle, got wet, boys in a bucket of water right in the Big Show. Big Show got angry, left. That's why Sheamus and Alberto Del Rio won the match. By account. In all, this, both shows were awesome. WWE was not a good, was in a good role this week. That's all I gotta say about that. Let's go to the next topic. The next topic is a very personal topic for me. It's about the Teen Zone. Now I've talked about it before many times, but this is time is seriously important. This Monday is my last day of the team zone and um it will it's gonna it's gonna be a remember it's gonna be very emotional, and very sad. However there is a positive look back. If you're looking at what gonna next in my future, well I'm thinking about volunteering at the Boys and Girl Club London. It's a great idea I just thought up about one or two nights ago. Really great idea um, what, what I'm doing is what I'm doing volunteering with big enough, very simple enough. I learn, I understand with the volunteering. But hoping if I'm volunteering the boys in the one that I'm hoping to volunteer at the teen zone specifically. That won't happen more than likely. But 
I'm gonna try to get my comfort in my comfort zone. Get out of my comfort zone. Maybe go with the kids and try something different. This get me out of the house at least three times, three days a week. I'm hoping to four. Hoping, hoping to do a while on three weekends. But I'm going I'm there. Is it it's gonna be good? I'm looking forward to that. I am, however, looking forward to a party that's gonna be happening on Monday on the final day. Now, not, you can call a party, I can call a party wherever I want, but you know, but you know, my mom's gonna be there. My friends, of course, Jason has to be there. He is down. But, um, my volunteer may be there. Um, it's gonna be a hard, it's gonna be a long ride, it's gonna be a long journey. Um, I want us to be thank people, the boys and girls of London, for being great people. Thank Jason a lot, the most. You're a, you become not just a friend, you become a mentor. I respect you so much. Thank you very much. I, it's an honor, great, it's a great honor to be at the boys, you know. And I look forward to the future. That's all about the team though. Let's go to our third topic, I think. Our next topic is about Matt, about the Clayable Card Game Magic, The Gathering. Now, last week, I showed you guys this. Now, this with my black white deck. I showed, I created one back a couple weeks ago, maybe a month ago, I'm not sure how long it was, but it's one of awesome deck. You think it's good enough? Now, I had a binder of all these cars that bought in all the tax of days, about one or two weeks. I really had enough to make two more decks. So I, this past couple weeks, I created two more decks. One is the red blue, right here, which is totally awesome. Red blue I have used before when I created, being a, being a friend of Zach, who played longer than I have, a lot longer than I have, because of this. Great deck. And I'm also created a green white deck. Two deck, meaning I have three. Green white is pretty good when it has a character with reach, which means it's able to block flying creatures. It's awesome. And it's great. And starting this Friday, I mean, every Friday, starting this Friday, I'll be joining a magic tournament. And that was down LA Mood. Gonna be exciting, it only cost two dollars and it's gonna come from six thirty PM to eleven thirty, so it's gonna be late on Friday in downtown with everyone feel safe about but I hope that I'll have fun. So I gotta say the magic scout alright and I love doing it, I can't wait for Friday, so like so So I gotta say the magic gathering. Now let's go to our next topic. Yeah. Our next topic is the poem of the week. Now we haven't done one in a while, but I like to bring a poem that I have that I did create when I was in grade six. Now during that time I was grade six, I went to Bridge Street Public School and I went to Aberdeen for the step for the set. This is my poem that I did for Brickery, but it ended up being a poem, the poem, from Death to Death, in your 25. I'm not sure everything still is, long time ago, 25. So let's get going. Death for Death. Aberdeen is an old school, but I think it is really cool. My destiny has just begun to meet some kids and have some fun. It is a place to be, to have some fun, and get a chance to be free. That's it. Thank you. The poem was awesome. I really it was a great one. And this was this the the poem was seems good. Who knows? Never thought later on I would create more poems. Now I haven't got back to the poem yet, so I'll try to get them later. That's all I gotta say for now for poetry. Now it's time wrapping up with the final thought right now.
It is now time to wrap things up with final thoughts. Now, what I, like, what I want to say is that the past two weeks have been very interesting. But for the next couple of days, it will be very tough. May I leave the boys in the one? I would like to thank Jason Martell and Critter Hood for trying to, for being, for trying to help me be successful in the future. And hoping they're going to try to help me, can better give me an opportunity to help me get through in the future. I'm so thankful for that. I would also like to thank my friend, the friend I met at the Teen Zone. Guys, if it, you guys made me feel like I belong in the Teen Zone, I would never believe it. Never believed that I could make it to my friend that I ever had there in the Teen Zone. I didn't know, I never thought I could do that. Um, well, that's it, guys. I would like you to follow me on Twitter, new at, at this time, read it carefully. For net, I mean, for net TV Robert, all one word. You add for net TV Robert, and use the hashtag at TV Web Show. I would love, and don't forget, guys, comment on YouTube. I will read the post. I will answer back if I can. And that's it for all of me. I hope you have a good day or night, whatever. We'll see you next week for more for net TV Web Show. Bye bye.